Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to review the BenQ Screen Bar e-reading light. This light is a welcome addition to my desktop, not only because this area of my office in particular is a little bit dim, I do have a lot of lights lighting it up right now, but it's a little bit dim and this just helps me use this particular light right here instead of a big overhead light and it kind of helps with the mood while you're editing your photos or designing stuff. So let's talk about the light real quick. First off, when you get the light, you're gonna see when you open the package, you only get a couple things. You actually get the uh, counterweight that goes on the light. You actually get the light itself. You also get a USB cable as well. So this light is USB powered. It can plug directly into the back of your computer or any kind of wall outlet, wall adapter that you have, but it really makes it easy to be able to plug just into the USB port of the back of your computer and you're good to go. Mounting it on your screen is very, very easy. You basically just attach the light to the counterweight, plug it into your computer and set it on the top of your monitor. I actually have it on the BenQ monitor in this example and it works really, really well. The bezels are very small and the counterweight actually attaches to the top of the monitor very, very nicely. Sits very, uh, very nice. It's not gonna fall off or anything like that. I actually also have it on my iMac as well and the iMac really has a very large bezel. However, you do have the iSight camera that is uh, right on the front of the monitor there. And what's great about the BenQ is that the bezel or the little hook that hooks onto the iMac is so small that uh, it doesn't block the iSight camera at all. So you can actually put it on multiple different monitors and not just the BenQ monitor. So some great features about this e-reading light is that it is auto dimmable, which means when you turn it on, you can have it detect the ambient light in the room and it will start auto dimming depending on how many lights you turn off or on. Uh, you can also manually dim it as well with, uh, to get it to the right brightness that you would like. You also have the ability to change the color temperature. So if you have uh, wa more warmer lights in the room, you can actually have it match those lights in the room as well. If you have a cooler light setting kind of like I do, you can have cooler lights as well. Works really great that way. And now when you think about a light being on top of your screen, you're thinking of what about glare that's caused um, by the light? Well, I actually have the BenQ monitor right here and also have the iMac monitor right here. This one's more of a glossy screen. This one's more of a kind of a matte finish. I see zero light flare, light glare, anything like that caused by this light. It's specifically designed to just illuminate the desk and not the screen. So as I mentioned, if I'm working late at night, I'm editing photos on my desktop here. What I'll do is I'll actually turn this light on and turn all the other lights off. That way I'll have just this e-reading light here. It just illuminates my desk, the area that I need right here. And then I'm able to edit my photos without having a bunch of reflections off of lights in the room or anything like that. Uh, this, is, this would be my main light that I use just for my desk. I don't have any other desk lamp because this actually serves a purpose and it serves it very, very well with all these cool features. So if you wanna learn more about the BenQ Screen Bar e-reading light, link in the description down below to Amazon. It's currently $99 and it's a fantastic buy for that price. All right guys, thank you for joining me in this review. This has been Jordan from Sleek Lens and we'll see you in the next one.